But let's continue with our discussion from last time about translating words into algebraic expressions. If I say twice, if I say twice a number, how does that translate? It means two times a number, right? When you see twice, that means two times something. So if we're doing twice a number, that just means 2x, right? Just like if I were to say five times a number. How do we translate five times a number? It's just five x because you're doing five times a number and that multiplication in between them would just give you five x. And please make sure that you note the difference between the variable x and the multiplication x. You definitely do not want to write, don't write this, five times x. Do you see how awkward that is? We don't do that. Don't do that. Do this. I mean, and even then, you wouldn't even show that raised dot for multiplication. You would just write 5x like that. But you do want to get in the habit of writing your x's more script-like as opposed to just going, like making it a cross. Okay. You don't want there to be any ambiguity in the way that you write your stuff. You want your x's to be x's, multiplication to be multiplication, division to, to be division, and so on. Because it helps us to put the dot in there right now. Is that okay? Yeah, it's, if you want to put the dot there, that's, that's okay. Just know that I'm not going to do that. So, and it's something that we don't always, we don't always carry the dot here. Sometimes I'll mark it here just for emphasis to remind us about something or to make sure that it stands out in maybe another type of operation that we're doing later. But if we're doing it on a test, just to make sure we're doing it. No, that's fine. The kind of things that kill me on a test is when I see a bunch of tick marks instead of knowing our multiplication tables. Not saying I'm an angry guy, I'm just saying. What if I say this? The sum of the sum of twice a number and ten. As I read this, what's the first math word that I see? I see sum, which means I'm doing what? Addition. 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 So I've got addition over here, and then I look for the word and. Okay, remember how we said the word and will tell us what comes before and what comes after that main operator. So before the plus, before the word and, what do I see? Twice a number, so I write 2x. What do I see after the word and? 10. Karen, are you okay with that? Oh, yeah. You have the, the frowny face on. And remember, it's my job to turn that frown upside down. <laughs> so what if I do twice the sum of a number and 10? How does that translate? Or is it the exact same thing that I just had up here? Is it the same? It's very similar, but the word order has changed now, right? In the last example, I said the sum, so that meant we automatically started with addition. Here, what do I start with? I start with twice. That means two times something, right? So this is two times what? 
Does it say two times x? Does it say twice a number? No. It says twice what? Sum. Twice the sum. So that means everything here is going to be multiplied times two. Twice that group. So it's twice the sum. Does it say it doesn't say twice a number, does it? It doesn't say twice ten. It says twice the sum, and the sum is a group. Because the sum is something plus something else. So this is the, this is the sum of what? A number and ten. So that's x and ten. Now some of you may be thinking, well, isn't that the same thing that I just had up here? Why not? If I multiply this out, if I distribute, I would have 2x plus what? 2x plus 20. Definitely not the same as 2x plus 10. Now, just so I can confuse you guys just a little bit more, if I were to say this, twice some number plus 10. How would you write twice some number plus 10? Well, when I see the word, I see the word twice, it means two times something, right? What immediately follows this word sum? Excuse me, twice. Uh, some number, right? So here it's twice some number. So that means just 2x. And then you have what? Plus 10. In the last example, it wasn't twice a number. It was twice the sum. It was twice a group, which is why the parentheses were important to us there. Okay, let me try something else here. If I have 3 times the difference, 3 times the difference of a number and 16. Three times the difference of a number in 16. Three. So I see three first, three times. There's multiplication here. Three times what? It's, it's three times, a, right, you're right. It's three times a group because this group is the difference, right? So the difference is not just a number. The difference is the result of something minus something else. So it's three times that group. So it's, notice what it says. It says the word difference. So it means I've got subtraction in here. And what are the two pieces of my subtraction? X and a number, x. The word and signifies to us where the subtraction symbol goes, which is right here. And the other side of that is 16, so minus 16. So it's three times the difference. It's three times that group. What do you guys think? All right, time to go to the super duper problem. If I say this, 13 less than twice the difference of 7 and some number. Thirteen less than twice the difference of seven and some number. If we start off at the very beginning of this problem, we see thirteen less than. What does it mean when I say thirteen less than? It does not mean 13 minus. And this is where we run into trouble. 
When we see the phrases more than and less than, that's stuff that needs to be done at the end of the problem. So when I see 13 less than, when I see this guy right here, that means I'm going to be subtracting 13 from whatever follows that. Like if I say your age is 13 years less than mine, does that mean I do 13 minus my age and that's how old you are? Because you're going to be negative if I do it that way. But it would be taking my age, say A, minus 13. Right? So those phrases more than and less, and you have to be very careful about. Those need to be done at the end of the problem. So I'm taking 13 away from what? Twice the difference. How do you start writing twice the difference? It's twice, but it's twice a group, right? And that group is the difference, so subtraction. It, look, it's the difference of what? Here's the word and. Look for the word and. What well, comes before the word and when you talk about the difference? Okay. So 7 comes first, and then what? What if you say x minus 7? Is that acceptable? No. 7 minus x is not x minus 7. You can't just change things about the subtraction symbol and think that it's going to be okay. Which, again, is why we have to make sure that when we see a phrase like 13 less than, we're putting that at the end. We're taking 13 away from the rest of this.